Hello, I want to welcome you to this uh, walkthrough demonstration of the Backlink Miner uh, Link Research software. And just kind of hopefully give you an idea of what the software can do for you, um, why you would want it, and how it could be helpful uh, in your link building and link uh, research efforts for your website. Now, what I've already gone ahead and done is I've already put in a domain and analyzed it, and this is all the data returns. Um, so we don't have to sit through the, the link analyzing process. So this is just hopping right into the meat and potatoes of what the software can do. So let's just hop right in and uh, just talk about what you see here. This is uh, the analyze section is where you put your domain in that you want to analyze. And uh, you just hit the start button and it'll go from there. You, these are the met different metrics you can select based on different uh, types of metrics categories and what, based on the ones that you select that's the data that will be analyzed and collected so pretty simple and so when everything's finished and analyzed uh, the first thing you take note of is the URL summary section basically what the software does is it, it takes the domain that we're analyzing and it pulls the basic backlink and search ranking data for that domain so you can, from all the different major uh, data sources so you can see at a glance what each service has on the particular domain in, in terms of an overview and so you don't have to go to all these different services and open up the windows and, and research that yourself so you can see it all in one place uh, quickly and easily so I mean these are the services uh, Moscape is open site Explorer Ahrefs Majestic and SEM rush and so um, you can see that I mean this site has a pretty high Moz rank very high page authority and domain authority which is uh, I mean a, a possibly really good sign has a lot of linking domains uh, IP address diversity links from a lot of class C addresses EDU gov backlinks you know even has it's even ranking for 642 keywords uh, according to SEM rush so this looks on the surface like a very good quality domain um, but Despite knowing this, we really know nothing about the backlinks. So let's take a closer look at the, the specific data, the backlinks. Now, uh, to give ourselves a little more space, you can click on this little button right here, and it just hides the URL summary section, so you can get a little more room to analyze your data. Now, we've I've scanned across all 33 metrics, and it's, it's a ton of data. So I don't have time in this video to go over each metric in question, so I'm going to kind of um, deselect some of these metrics. I mean we, we know what the page rank metrics will do to let us know if the backlinks have page rank. So I'll just try to hit some some highlights of things that are different from other uh, backlink um, tools you might have used in the past. So we're not going to look at social data. And the, the main thing I'm going to try to highlight is uh, the link network data and the link quality data. So uh, the thing I find most fascinating is the link uh, network data, and we <clears throat> I find myself using that more than anything uh, to analyze just because it's it's fascinating to me. But we, we look, do this on four levels. We look for uh, sites, expired domains, sites that were recently sold on Flippa.com, AdSense IDs and Analytic IDs, Google Analytics IDs that are used on multiple domains. So we have it... Uh, we have a database of about seven million, <coughs> seven or eight million uh, expired domains that expired in the past year, and so we look to see if the site we're analyzing is getting any links from domains that expired in the past year. And as you can see, this one has links from a lot of expired domains. It's actually higher than average, so this gives us an idea that there's possibly some kind of linking network or blog network being used, or they buy their own expired domains and uh, link them to their money site here. And then the same with thing with Flippa, you can see that these are all links, <coughs> this represents links from domains that have been sold uh, and purchased on Flippa in the past year. And this is actually a pretty high number since I think the Flippa database is maybe only like 20,000 websites. Might be a little more than that compared to the 8 million we have here. So uh, this is a very high proportion. So again, this indicates some kind of network being used. The uh, same thing with AdSense IDs. Um, I'm just sorting on the, the ID. We have the IDs here, and you can see this is the same AdSense ID. 
but it's not highlighted a red color and this means that this is all links from the same domain okay but if you happen to see an AdSense ID that's highlighted red this means that more than one domain using this AdSense ID is detected so um, you know this could represent two different domains with a bunch of different pages it could be three domains uh, it could be ten domains and, and all this data you can get if you scroll over and look at the the domain details of the uh, of the backlink which is included but um, so th this indicates that sites owned probably by the same person using the same AdSense ID are being used here and we can find uh, and we'll be sort on the analytics IDs same thing Let's see again here you go that means multiple websites using the same analytics ID are uh, being used. So that's kind of the link network thing. And from, from this perspective, it looks very much so like uh, this site is using or participating in some kind of uh, link networks or paid links or something like that. Uh, another thing we check for is kind of what we fall under the link quality section is the spam on page metric. Let me uh, sort on that. And this just gives an indication. It checks for spam phrases on the linking page. So what we have is we have a built-in list of about 300 very commonly used phrases that are the most common in blog comments um, that have occurred many, many times. Uh, on blog comments and then we just report that so spam on page this is the phrase that triggered that so you can see this site in question is about a survival type of site okay so we're seeing a lot of you know SEO services is not related to that blog comments not related to that dating you know, bag, bags and handbags and weight loss and web hosting and pharmacy so this indicates more than likely <clears throat> This is sites getting links from directories um, or link pages or resource pages or blog comments or forums. So uh, that just gives you a quick way to give you indication that uh, is the page clean? Um, is it free from this very common uh, type of spam? And check outbound links. Uh, you know, once you get 100 plus links, we quit counting. Uh, just uh, because we used to report original version we used to report actually how many links uh, but there were some that had would have 20 or 30,000 outbound links it was absolutely nuts um, it, the page uh, would be megabytes in size and it, it's, it's just ludicrous so um, from all the spam comments so we just capped that at 100 and you know that there's more than 100 outbound links the fewer links the better um, just trying to hit the highlights here uh, the link theme I think is a very important one uh, because we use an API um, that is a free API and it allows you uh, that tries to classify what every backlink page is about and so um, you can see we have all these different kinds of categories but what we're looking for is something that's highlighted um, green and so um, Let's see here. And that indicates pages that are on the same category as the vein we're analyzing. So you can see here, these, if it's highlighted green, it means philanthropy has been identified as the link category or the link theme of the site we're analyzing. And so that means these are on topic or related to the site we're analyzing. And so the more links that a site has that are <clears throat> excuse me, highlighted green, the more on target and topically related the links are. Um, and so if you're going to do in backlinks, if you're this is a competitor and you want to uh, go after some of their backlinks, some of the first ones you might want to take a look at are the ones that are on topic. Go after those first because you have a lot of them, pets and dogs, pharmacy and drugs, personal finance. They have links from all different categories all over the map. Okay. So it just gives you a quick way to see the topically uh, relevant and related backlinks, which ones they are. And then the final thing I'm going to cover um, is we have here Anchor Rank. And basically what we do is we check to see if 
this site is ranking in the top 10 of Google for the anchor text. And so like bird flu prevention, this is not ranking in the top 10. And then we also have the search uh, volume, global, local, and the cost per click for the anchor text. And we we're actually tapping into our own database. We have 50 million keywords that we've uh, got from Google's keyword tool. And we've created a, our own database and we pull that data from there. And so what you can do is you can check to see which ones are ranking. You can see if, the anchor, if they're ranking for any of their anchor text phrases. Okay, and you can see that they're ranking for their domain name. But um, you can also quickly see if any of the terms they're ranking for are actually getting any significant search volume. So you have earthquake kits, this is 880, um, a lot of long tail stuff, a lot of, you know, repeating phrases. But it seems like the, the major one um, that they're ranking for is the earthquake kits. So you can see whether or not that all their anchor text is really even helping their rankings or not. You can quickly uh, gauge that. And then uh, the final metric uh, to kind of give you an idea of the quality or the traffic of a potential of a backlink is the keywords column. And basically what this does is it, it reports how many keywords the backlink ranks for. Not the site we're analyzing, but the backlink. And so what that can indicate is, okay, this particular one ranks, this backlink ranks for 220 different keywords. Now, the thing about this backlink is it's a Wikipedia link, but it ranks for 220 different keywords. So even though this is a nofollow link, there's a good possibility that if you were to get a link on this page, since it ranks for 220 keywords, you could actually get traffic uh, in addition to any linking benefit. So it's just a quick way to see if the backlink itself has the potential to deliver any actual visitors and traffic to your site in addition to any uh, boost in uh, link juice it might be sending your way to help boost your rankings in other ways. And so you can see that uh, we have the one from potties.com here. So links for th this particular ranks for 33 different uh, keywords. So that's just a you know, it's, it's not super quick overview of the software. There's just so much to cover here and so much to do. But I think it gives you a good idea of the kinds of things that you can do, the kinds of things you can uncover, the kinds of things uh, that, that you can find to find the shady links and possibly some of the good relevant links that are also getting search rankings that are also contributing to uh, the anchor text rankings and also that whether or not they're thematically or topically related to the site in question. So there's just so many possibilities for using this data and I hope that gives you an idea of what all you can do with this uh, Backlink Miner. So uh, click the download button, give the trial a shot, and uh, I think it'll really change the way that you perform Backlink research.